Jazz album of the year, solo. Yes. How and you this feeling? Is, How you doing? I'm feeling great. Yeah. I'm feeling fabulous. Fabulous yeah. enough to do a bare naked uh, an emoji, maybe after our chat. Oh or? well, you know, I'll have yeah. to consider that one. <laughs> you can't get any worse than what you just witnessed yeah. there. That was amazing. <laughs> Now, this is your first solo win. You've won before. I've won before. The category was different. It was called Traditional Jazz Album of the Year. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to say, is it just better to have it be so, like it's just you, solo, recognized for your own talent? No, it's just, it's just a category. It's just a change of uh, name. Yeah, now. yeah. It's just a change of name. Plus, I have a great band. So, you know, it's, it's it, whatever. It just is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've also written two books as well as. That's right. Yeah. Jazz Baseline book. Uh, it's uh, for those <laughs> into that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it sells worldwide. I get all sorts of email messages from people around the world who use it, which is really uh, gratifying. And I also wrote a, a theory book for Humber College where I teach. So is it a trip though? Do, do people send you photos of like here's your book in a store in Australia? Or like here's... are you getting tagged on Instagram? Yeah, people yeah, like well, reading you, it in the bath. And yeah, you stuff. know, you know what? what they do is they send uh, photos of it on their music stand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool. yeah. Practicing. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's yeah. inspirational to be sort of tagged and in yeah, it's, ways. I mean, it's great. You know, I'm glad that I I I, I didn't I, I kind of wrote it just because I teach at Humber and I wanted some material and mm -hmm. I just had these ideas in mind and and it ended up being used all over the place. It's great. We've yeah. been talking a lot with people about the the value of musical education. Mm -hmm. We were talking about it with yeah. Jim Cuddy. Uh, right. You know, it, it's it's sort of been a fairly consistent theme here. And so obviously, being part of the educational system yeah. uh, in this country, do you see the value that sort of music education has? On, on young people, I mean, how important do you think it is to sort of have a robust uh, musical component in education? I think it's incredibly important. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's like, I mean, I have two daughters and uh, they're both, they take music lessons. It's kind of about uh, brain development on one side. You know, when, when you, like music uses so many parts of your brain that I think it's fantastic. And, you know, say playing piano, you're using your left hand, your right hand, you've got to learn independence, you all, like all sorts of things. And then right up through, through college, uh, I mean, these, the, the stuff you learn becoming a musician and having to uh, become, like master your instrument is invaluable in all, all aspects of life. I have, I have a great friend who, who went through music college, went through university, and then uh, uh, is now a software developer. But, but he uses all the skills he used to, uh, learned as a musician. Yeah, so incredibly important. Yeah. Now, we mentioned the, the uh, uh, an emojis, which is probably not a great idea. But uh, we, we do, do we have time for a buble, a buble? One quick game. So, okay, nice. so we've got a little little <laughs> game called Buble or Bust, okay. which is testing your knowledge of uh, tomorrow Michael night's Buble. Juno's host, Michael Buble. Oh, oh boy. Now, okay. I it's, think fun. it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's real fun. You I, could be I the world's with him biggest. A, I played with him in a show called Forever Swing. Oh, for, so what? For, for just, so uh, cool. yeah, for a few weeks, yeah. So maybe so you know. Maybe you, about know. Him. you get oh, to know no. everything yeah. about him that time. Okay, so based on your experience, maybe you can answer one of these questions. I don't think we've got any of them right yet. Uh, and we read oh, them boy. before, and okay. we read the answers, too. <laughs> yeah. I'll just call ourselves okay. out. Ugh, but yeah, hey, so was... there's no pressure at okay, all. Okay, right? Yeah, all don't, do, I think you could be the, you could probably be like Michael Buble's wife and not get some of these questions right. <laughs> yeah, the wording is yeah. interesting it's, on some of them. Very, but it's, all right, that's but we're going to play this good. Okay. And of course, Buble and Bust, also part of musical education in Canada. Very, very important to everyone. Right. Uh, oh, okay, so oh. let's, are we, are we getting a Buble? No. Yeah. Oh, we're getting okay. it. We're okay. There was a variety of hand we're signals all happening yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. Michael Bublé was a wedding singer at whose wedding where he was discovered? Oh, that was at Brian Mulroney's. Okay. The, you didn't yeah. even have to read out the other yeah. options. David Foster. Wallace I knew that because David Foster was there and heard him. Yeah. There like you go. Brian. Brian okay. Hey, hey what do I win? <laughs> you win <laughs> that Juno. Love and affection yeah. and right. Juno. Yeah, yeah. Right. There you go. Congratulations. Yeah. Mike, congratulations. Hey, thanks thank for coming you so much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Have a wonderful experience tonight.